Good morning everybody and happy Thursday, or as we like to call it around here, the fourth best day of the week. Um, yesterday we had a lot of fun transplanting. I don't know if you guys saw our stories on social media, but uh, we, are, we have a lot of fun even when the cameras aren't rolling. Uh, we had a great time. We're, we're loving seeing you guys going. You know what, I know we normally do this on Friday, but I'm doing a special one today. I wanna to give a big shout out to CBC Calgary Eye Opener, David Gray and Angela Knight, who I spoke to this morning. They uh, did a little feature on us uh, and we couldn't be prouder. Uh, we're so happy that um, this show is resonating with you guys and you guys are enjoying what we're doing because we're loving giving back to you guys. So um, keep it up, keep subscribing. We've got seeds to give away. Who knows, maybe soon we might have some live plants to give away that you know, you've seen us propagate on this show. Um, we got all kinds of things. Keep subscribing, keep liking, commenting, feedback, we love it. So yesterday we uh, tackled um, repotting, transplanting our seedlings. And I thought today we could also look at repotting, also known as transplanting, but since they never go outside, I tend to use the term repotting, our house plants. So, the first thing, much like yesterday, if you guys remember, why do we repot a house plant? Well, we start with our house plant, and he's doing great in his little pot, and the roots are going down, and everything is great. It's got the light, it's got the water, great potting soil. Um, everything, everything couldn't be better for this little guy. So what does he do? Well, it grows. But unlike outside, where there's unlimited, remember we talked about the layers of soils and the layers of earth, where it's essentially unlimited for those uh, roots to get down, be it the top root or the adventitious roots, the fibrous roots, this guy doesn't have that. So as the roots grow, oh, it hits, and then it hits, and then it hits, and eventually, well, if that's one root, that's not too bad. But when it's all the roots doing it, what ends up happening is it gets tangled and all of those roots, they're competing now against each other for nutrition and for water and even just room to breathe. And they start jamming up and your plant is gonna get root bound and you're gonna see it up top and it's gonna start wilting. You're not gonna see new growth. You're gonna start running into problems. So we gotta repot. So what are the main benefits of repotting? First and foremost, fresh soil, fresh growing medium, full of nutrients, healthy, light, loose, that's what we want. Better water. Now, what I'm gonna show you here, and I, normally I don't water before I transplant, but I have to illustrate something. So this guy here, he took a bit of a beating. I've nursed him back to health, all kinds of new growth. He's got a great pot. Now you can see at the bottom, there is a drain hole in this pot, okay? Look what happens when I water. Give him a shot of water. Okay, it's already absorbed up top. You can see that the soil is nice and wet. The bottom is dry. Nothing came out the bottom. So that soil absorbed all of the moisture and the roots are drinking it up. Now this guy is hurting, and you're gonna see what I mean in a second. I've deliberately let this guy get to this condition to show you. Plants looking like this, it's not doing so good. So you can see, look at those leaves, look at everything. Now watch what happens. That's what a plant looks like when it needs water. So watch what happens when I water it. Go, give him a drink. Oh, well, that wasn't spectacular, was it? So, do you think that plant drank any of that? Because it didn't, and now I'm gonna show you why. If I carefully lift them, that's why. Look at the roots. They're coming out onto the surface, they're bound around, they're at the bottom. I can crush the soil ball and nothing is happening. It's dense, it's not breathing, it's, there's nothing left in that soil. It's literally holding the plant up and that's pretty much it. There's, there's no benefit there. So now, We've got this guy, full of new growth, old growth is looking good, everything is where it should be, nothing is wilting, but if we look at the bottom, we can see roots poking through. So it's getting to the point where we need it. So why wait until it looks like this? Now we're gonna bring this guy back. You're gonna see him next week, and the week after that, we're gonna bring him back. That I promise you, 
but why wait till it gets to this stage? So let's start here. So, one thing you want to do is go up one size, six inch pot, eight inch pot. What we're gonna do here is much like yesterday, we're gonna take some soil, we're gonna drop it in. We're gonna firm it down so it's got a nice bed. You can see we've got drain holes. So we've got what we need, we're gonna firm it down. Then, always support the crown. So if you can see, I'm interlocking my fingers there across the soil and I'm gently squeezing the plastic around it. And I'm just gonna flip and we're gonna ease that off. And then look at that. That's how close this was to being root bound. Everything about it looked great, but look at those roots. And we're gently gonna place them there Gonna make sure it's sitting up nice and straight where we want it to be. And then much like we did yesterday, we're gonna add some soil. And we're gonna go around and we're just gonna firm it in. Again, we're not packing down. We don't wanna pack down because we want those roots to get into this new soil. So if we're forcing the soil down and making it tight, we're already giving the roots a barrier to entry. We want it to be firm, we want it to hold the plant, but we don't want it tight. So as you can see, I'm just tucking down around. I'm just gonna, the excess soil that got there, I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna clean out the edge. We're gonna recycle this. Remember, this is misplaced soil, otherwise known as dirt. But look, now it just became soil again because I put it in the right place. That was a free lesson for Brandy, not you guys. I know you guys know what soil and dirt is. That one's for you, Brandy, okay? So, we level this off, we keep it there. We firm it down, and voila, that's it. We have a repotted plant. Extra room around the base. We've got it nice and firm. The next time this guy's watered, that soil's gonna absorb. Those roots are gonna start exploring. So, we took them out of this pot. Well, remember what I said about going up a size in pots? Now we're gonna cycle up. So we're gonna reuse our pot. We put him there. Same principle, even though, again, very bad state, not doing well at all. We're gonna add a bit of soil. I need a bit more soil, one second. I'm back, did you guys miss me? I missed you. Okay, so, again, we're gonna firm this down. Not super hard, you can see I'm not crushing it with my hand. I'm just forming a snug bed for those roots to sit on. Now, this one's gonna be a bit messier. We don't really care about mess. I think we've made that abundantly clear because I did water it to illustrate how that water came out. So now I'm gonna lift it out. We can keep this pot. It's not very good looking, but that doesn't really matter. Look at that, 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 that is just not good. I'm gonna put them in the middle, just like that. Now these can be a bit trickier. That ZZ plant, everything was nice and up. It was easy to get the soil in. These ones can be a bit trickier. You don't want to bury the leaves. Roots want to be underground, leaves want to be above ground. And then look, just come around. Same principle, we're not packing it in. Nice and gentle, nice and slow and steady. And exactly what I did with that last one. I'm just lightly firming it in. I'm not going crazy, I'm not going heavy. And you can see, we just keep adding as we need. So as you go up, and one thing, if I'd put this guy into the eight inch pot, I could have shocked him. Those roots are so used to being cramped to suddenly have this much room, the, the structural integrity of the plant is kind of giving away. You want to just go up four inch to six inch, six to, six to eight. The eight can go to the 10 or the 12. As they get bigger, obviously you've got a bit more play with them. But when they're smaller, you really don't want to go up too big. And then look, we're just gently going to firm them down. We take the soil off the crown. So just like yesterday with our seedlings, we want the existing soil and the new soil to be on the same level. We don't want higher, we don't want lower, okay? If you do make a mistake, the plant higher is better than the plant lower, okay? Ideally together, but higher is better than lower. And we're just gonna firm them down, nice and easy. A Little bit more. And then, there we go. And done. Now, one important thing you have to do when you're done transplanting 
is they need water. So remember what happened the last time we watered our little friend here? Now we've already watered, so some water might run out. Look at that. The soil is now retaining the water, okay? The roots are gonna be able to drink that. It's not running past. Basically, that plant was suffocating. There was no air in there, there was nothing. That plant was almost drowning or suffocating in on itself. Um, now, it's got a chance. We're gonna, we're gonna see in about a week, all of this will perk up, these leaves will fill out, and it's gonna look a lot better. And if it dies, I guess that's on me. Oops. I won't tell you that. If it dies, we won't bring it up again. Same with this one, okay? We repotted this ZZ plant. It's looking good. We've got to give it some water. Whenever you repot, just like we did yesterday with the seedlings, you always want to make sure it's got a bit of water. This is going to help that new soil and the old soil settle together, and it's going to get rid of any, uh, any of those moisture bubbles and retention. And as you can see, nothing running out. No roots poking out the bottom. Now, we got a lot of people who come and they want to put a plant in a pot like this. I don't blame them. It's a great looking pot. It's a lot nicer than that. But I recommend putting your plant in that and then putting your plant in that. And the reason for that, if you use a hard ceramic pot, okay, even one with a drain hole. I don't know if you guys can see. Nope, this one has a drain hole in it. This one doesn't. I think I've got another one over here, okay? That's gonna allow excess water to drain, but eventually the roots are gonna fill this. While you saw me last time on these two, gently squeeze that to loosen the roots to lift it out. How do I squeeze that? The only way I'm gonna get that out is to pull the plant by the crown and by all of its foliage and pull it out. It's gonna damage it. That's not ideal. I see people do it all the time. It's really not ideal. So the best thing you can do is put your plant in a pot, just like this, and then put it in a cover pot. You're gonna get the aesthetic, you're gonna look great. When it needs repotting, you can do it, and then you can upcycle all of your pots going through. So I always recommend using your plastics. Keep them, um, because you know what we're gonna do with this one? I don't know if you guys remember when we showed you how to propagate house plants, We've got a spider plant going, uh, we've got a monstera, we've got African violets. Can't remember the other one, but anyway, well, that's what this is gonna be used for, to start those guys going. So we're gonna keep upcycling them all, we're gonna put them in beautiful cover pots, and away you go. It's that easy. Um, there's a reason I didn't show you guys how to do a cactus, because quite frankly, they suck. Wear a glove. That's basically the same principle, wear gloves. Um, and, and absolutely, if you guys do have any questions regarding a cactus, we'll do one. We'll get you through that as well. Um, it wouldn't be the first time that I've had to handle one, so uh, I'm not too worried. So that about wraps it up for, um, for transplanting a house plant. Uh, tomorrow, come on guys, it's Friday, Hawaiian Shirt Friday, Q&A. We've already got some requests, we've got some questions to answer. Um, it's the best way to finish the week. Don't forget, we want to give away tons of sunflowers. Let us know if you want some. We've got them to give away. I want to see Calgary just full of sunflowers this year. You know how to germinate them. If not, our videos are on YouTube. Subscribe, watch them, keep an eye out for it, and have fun. Any questions, let us know. And have a fantastic Thursday, everybody, okay? Bye now.